Over the past few days, players who have pre-purchased or pre-ordered Hogwarts Legacy are seeing a lot of cancellations, especially on Xbox. We also have news on cross-platform saves, as well as an incident that happened yesterday which scared a few PC players for a few moments. Today we get into it all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Guys, I am giving away a Hogwarts Legacy Deluxe Edition version of the game so you guys can win and play this three days early as well as get that Dark Arts exclusive pack. To win this, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Winners will be picked from one of my Hogwarts videos so check them all out and announced before the 7th. Good luck. So not only have I been questioned about it, I've seen posts on social media, including Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, about pre-orders of Hogwarts Legacy being cancelled, and it seems as though the reason this is happening is because the availability date has changed. Well, that's the excuse Microsoft write you when they cancel your order, which is just bizarre. As you can see by this image right here on the screen, it reads, your Hogwarts Legacy Digital Deluxe Edition pre-order was recently cancelled due to the availability date for the Xbox version of the game changing to the 4th of April 2023. They then go on to say the game's release will be as usual on the 7th of February with this edition pre-order. Now I went on the Warner Brothers game support Twitter and they are being bombarded with people asking what's going on here. It seems as though a lot of players are having their pre-orders cancelled. So why are they being cancelled? We just have no idea. Their common reply is, thanks for writing in about your pre-order. We'd like for you to check out your account.microsoft.com for your pre-order status as a message indicates. If this is the second time you're seeing messaging about a cancellation and you've already ordered a game, you should be all set. Now to my understanding, if this has happened to you once before, it will probably happen to you again, but on a third time of you ordering the game, or pre-ordering the game, you should be good to go. But to be honest, it is an unnecessary farce, and I'm truly not surprised why some fans are pissed off about it. I mean, when your shit does get cancelled on Xbox, I've had it happen to me a few times in the past now, you actually just don't know what's going on, you don't know whether to pre-order again, just in case the money comes out twice, things like that, just rack on your brain. So you actually have no idea what's going on here, why it's mainly happening on Xbox 2, but it's definitely a problem that needs to be sorted. Now yesterday we had a slight scare for PC players, well I say scare, I'd say it's probably a little bit of an overreaction, but delays are not uncommon in games and we've seen them before, even when games are close to launch. But yesterday on Steam the release date stairs for the game changed to coming soon from the 10th of February. This really led to an unnecessary outrage from players seemingly worried the game was going to be delayed once again. I saw videos posted of people actually genuinely worried, reddit posts and all sorts, but I can confirm it was just a hiccup and the game is still set to release on the 10th of February. So do not stress people, do not stress PC players. I think this game is so overhyped and anticipated, players will no doubt stress over the most minor things. People just want to create that wizard and experience Hogwarts, and you can't blame them. Okay, so to end, it's also being confirmed guys that cross saving will not be a feature for Hogwarts Legacy. Now this I really wanted to be a thing, because no doubt I'll be playing on PC or Xbox on launch, 7th of Feb, but I'd love my saves to cross over to that Switch in July on release, so I could go there and play on the go. But hey, confirmed it's not happening. But when I really think about it, it's not much of an issue, I'll happily just create a brand new wizard. Simple as that. But there we have it for today's news guys on Hogwarts Legacy. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.